Here is an old Chinese problem. Uh, let's read the question and let's see if we can solve the problem. A water lily fro floating in a murky pond is rooted on the bottom of the pond by a stem of a known length. The lily can be lifted two feet above the water and moved six feet to the side. What is the depth of, depth of the pond? Now the picture really helps. According to the question, when you hold the lily vertically from its point of origin, this, the part of the stem that's above the water is two feet, and you, when you pull it to the side, this distance is six feet. I labeled it here, and, and actually the picture comes with the question. We don't know the length of the stem, this or this, and we are supposed to find the depth of the pond. We are looking for this. If we knew the length of the stem, we would be all set, but we don't. So how do we solve this problem? So it's a good idea to pause this video now and solve it on your, on your own, but if you can't, the solution follows. So I have the same picture here on this part. I've added a few things. I'm calling the depth of the pond x. Suppose the pond is x feet deep. Now that would turn the length of the stem to x plus 2 because it's 2 feet above the depth of the pond. I just moved this arrow. In the original picture it was here. I moved it on top. That's the only change I made which, which doesn't make a lot of difference other than, you know, I mean other than the looks of the picture. Once again, if the length of the stem is x plus 2, this is the length of the stem as well, this has to be x plus 2. And you really want to understand why this length, which I'm calling BD, is x plus 2, and DC was defined to be x, and I knew the length of AC, and I knew the length of BC. They were given in the question. By the way, this point is B, this point is C, this point is A, and this point is D. Note, by the way the question is phrased, we're going to assume this is a right triangle. Angle B, C, which I can't see now, B, C, D is a right angle. And because it's a right triangle, I can apply the Pythagorean theorem. The length of the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two legs. So I can say square on BD equals the square on DC plus the square on BC. Now BD is x plus 2, x plus 2 squared. DC is x, x squared. BC is 6, 6 squared. Now we're going to apply algebra. You can multiply x by 2 by itself using what we call in the states FOIL method or most of you probably remember the formula a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square and here you have x square plus 6 square which is 36 so if you work on the left hand side it turns out to be x square plus 4x plus 4 the right hand side is x square plus 36 x square and x square cancel and you have 4 4 x plus 4 is equal to 36 do some rearrangements subtract 4 from both sides, you're going to get 4x is equal to 32, and if you divide both sides by 4, you're going to get x is equal to 8. And x is the depth of the pond, which turns out to be 8, and that's my answer. So the depth of the pond has to be 8 feet. That's my answer, 8 feet, the value of x. It's a pretty challenging problem, but not beyond us, actually.